Hello, my beautiful sweets. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Happy Friday, everyone. I don't know if this video is going to go up on Friday, but happy Friday anyway, because that's when I'm filming it. But I hope everyone's doing well. Whatever time you're watching this video, welcome back to my channel, Sweet Sadie J TV. I have a somewhat sizable haul, but not a, a really too big of a haul that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm telling you, Dollar Tree is really, really crack a lacking out the Halloween stuff, y'all. And I'm like, they're almost pulling me in. You saw I bought the soaps. This is the first year ever I bought the Halloween soaps. I'll buy the soaps for every season, Easter, Valentine's, whatever they come at Christmas, but I've never, ever bought the Halloween. But they were cute, and I'm using them. I love them. One's in my kitchen and one's in my bathroom. So... I want to start off with just a hodgepodge of stuff. I try to get ahead of myself and mark the food items and pull out the um, sell-by dates so I don't have to be searching for them. But I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's safe and chilling for the weekend. It's dangerous out there, y'all. Stay home. I love being home. All right, we're going to start this haul right away. Okay, I'm going to try to turn the camera just this way this time, just to see if we'll be a little bit better. I did try to put a little... Marina from Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict told me, suggested that I go and find an eyeball tattoo and put it on my arm because I was complaining about the third eye. And I looked. I was hoping I could find an eye, but I couldn't. I found butterflies. And I tried to put one on there, but you can't really tell because it slipped and it didn't really cover most of it, but it's good. I'll, I'll fix it later, but I want to show you the little packet. I got the butterfly ones because I couldn't find any of the eyeball ones. They had quite a few there in the front, but they're just called temporary tattoos, and they just look like this, and you just cut the part off that you want. You stick it on your um, arm, and you wet it, and you hold it for a few minutes, and then it comes right off. So mine slipped for some reason when I was taking it off. I, I don't know why. The instructions were pretty simple. To apply tattoo, remove plastic, place desired image face down on skin, apply water, wait 30 seconds, peel back paper. So pretty simple, right? So I did get the butterflies, Marina. Check that out. <laughs> Y'all know I love me some butterflies, so I will be covering that up for now on a lot better. But anyway, I got some uh, foliage. I told you guys in the previous um, video that I went out on the storage and pulled out my stuff from last year because I didn't want to buy any more foliage. But I had purchased this beforehand. Y'all know these hauls sit here for a few days sometimes before we get to, you know, actually do a video. Life is tough, okay? It can be really tough sometimes. But I wanted the taller ones like this to stick up in the top of the... Um, of the uh, arrangements because I really want one focal point in the middle of the um, <sighs> arrangement, you guys. And then I got to make my bows to go around. Hold on. I'm going to show you one minute. Okay. This is what I've gotten so far. This is how far I've gotten so far. And I want to make sure I spread out everything sporadically. And then I want like one big flower, like right up in the top. I'm not really sure how I'm going to maneuver this, but you know, I got to take the tags and stuff off and, um, I got to put a little bit of glue down here in the middle because these things don't like to stay. So, um, but I am going to put some glue down here in the middle to make sure that my, um, my, uh, piece styrofoam stays in it, but isn't that pretty? Just looking at it there, I haven't even finished and then I'm going to make some large bows and tie them around the side to front to face the front of the arrangement. You'll see it when I'm done. So yeah, I got my work cut out on me, cut out for me, and I am ready to get it done and get it over with. So I can have these all ready before we even leave for New York. So okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so without taking up too much of your time, I'm just gonna show you real quick. That's mom's. I want that specifically for mom's. And I might throw that yellow one in hers. Y'all know she's a special one. So dads and the men, they can, you know, they can go 
<laughs> with the plainer, manlier looking one. So this is what I've gotten along with the stuff that I pulled out of my storage. That's how I'm going to make those arrangements. I can't wait to complete them because I do have to make the bows next and then put it all together. And then I'll show you guys how it looks. <gasps> Pray for me. <laughs> okay. As always, y'all know, I had to wet my whistle. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. When I kissed your lips, man. Oh. <laughs> All right, my next item is these cute little pillowcases that I just could not leave there. I didn't need these pillowcases, you guys. I really didn't. But they have blessed on them. And I'm just mad because only, you only get one per pack. Remember, we used to get two per pack. Can you see that? It says blessed on them. And they're so cute. And I love black pillows. For some reason, I sleep better on the darker colored pillows. I don't know if it has something to do with just, you know, making it darker. But these are nice material. They are 20 inches by 30 inches, standard size. I've got the glasses right here, y'all. Why am I straining? Gives me a headache when I do that. Okay. It says standard size. It says 100% um, polyester, color fast comfortable and then it gives you the care instructions wash mach um, machine wash coal gentle cycle no chlorine bleach line or tumble dry low cool iron if necessary so yeah i put these on the um on the cooler section and i don't leave them in that long because i don't want the heat to eat them up but can y'all see that i'm oh, sorry i got it backwards okay all right there we go so the whole pillowcase, the standard size pillowcase. I don't know if it's going to fit them jumbo pillows that I just purchased, but we sure going to try, okay? But I got two of those, and I will definitely have to wash these first. So I don't ever put stuff like that on my bed without washing it. And the next item I purchased was this, and I think, I thought I had this from last year. I'm almost positive. I really, really believe I still have some more fall stuff out there because I know I had this unless I threw it away or gave it away but I didn't um, buy this to use it as a decoration um, for the outside or anything I used it to um, put it on a wreath so this is going to be like the middle part of a wreath so I went ahead and I got this it has a jute twine of course I think I'm probably going to glue this down because it's metal we'll see I might do them both just to secure it but I thought that was really cute. It would look really, really pretty in, in the middle of a reef. So I got that. And like I said before, when I first went out and bought the calendars, I said that, you know, I probably would go and buy more. And I did. Um, I bought this one, Pathways. And this is so good. This is so nice. I love this. I don't know what I was thinking when I was picking out my um, calendars, but... I normally always purchase calendars like this, and it just says God is in control of every detail of our lives. And this collection of quotes by well-known Christians, including Oswald Chambers and Amy Carmichael, is a special reminder that God cares, God listens, and God blesses. He wants to take you in the direction of his very best always. <gasps> Yes, <laughs> I had to get it, y'all. I had to get it. So you see the beautiful, beautiful images. I'm telling you, my mind must have been on that farmhouse stuff. But yeah, God brought me right back to it. <laughs> and I got that one. And then I got the waves. And this one is more, I think, for my older sister. It's called Waves of Peace. It says, enjoy the peacefulness and beauty of God's creation every month of the year. Waves of Peace features amazing photography of breathtaking beaches along with uplifting scriptures to inspire and encourage you. And this one says, July, if I ride the wings of the morning, if I dwell by the farthest ocean, even there, your hand will guide me. Psalm 139, 9 through 10. I absolutely love these, y'all. Love, love, love these. And I read these every day. As soon as I wake up, I have one directly on my wall. And I read the scriptures of the day. And that's how I start off. But I probably give this one to my sister because she's a beachy, beachy kind of person. So. Okay, my sweets. I had to refresh my, my little drink here because I was low. 
but I've got a few food items here and a few miscellaneous like um, hair care stuff man they're really cranking out so many different hair shampoos and conditioners and Bolero and what is it? P something? I don't know. I'll show you in a minute. But I found these new items that I hadn't seen in my store or any other store. And this was a small little jar of peanut butter spread honey. I've never ever seen the peanut butter bread. I mean the peanut butter spread honey. I don't know why my tongue gets all tied. And as you can see, <laughs> I went through <laughs> and marked the dates. This expires on 7 18 23. And my sister loves peanut butter. I just gave her a jar of peanut butter from the food pantry, but these will pass right over to her because she can eat some peanut butter. So she'll like that. And I also got saw this crunch. This is a 10 ounce. These are 10 ounce jars, y'all. Of peanut butter for $1.25 compares to Jif extra crunchy peanut butter and this one doesn't say it compares to anything so but this one is the crunchy one and they say they compare it to Jif <laughs> so I love crunchy peanut butter this one doesn't expire until July 16th 2023 this one is July 18th 2023 so these are the two new newest peanut butters that I found at the Dollar Tree thought that was pretty cool and Sonic has a lot of different kinds of jellos coming out I've seen cherry limeade and something else but I found at my store I found the Sonic ocean water naturally and artificially flavored six and a half cup serving and of course the expiration date is June 2024 and it looks like this. And my sister loves Jello. I have to have sugar-free Jello, um, so I just pass that over to her. And the next item is, or the last of the food items. This wasn't too bad of a of a haul. Yeah, it wasn't. Um, I got her some of the Morrison Texas style honey sweet cornbread. My sister loves cornbread. She makes it all the time. And I thought I had picked her up two bags of this, but I did go back today and I got her another bag. So that'll be in another haul. This doesn't expire until July 15th, 2023. It is a huge, huge bag. This is um, 16 ounces. It's really, really a big bag. And then of course, you know, they've got all different um, in ingredients and recipes on the back. They have cornbread or muffins prep the instructions and then they have a tamale pie um, recipe on the back so I don't know if you ever wanted to make a tamale pie but you can get it right off the back and it's just honey sweet cornbread mix this is really really good cornbread mix I've used it many many times of course y'all know I use sour cream I don't know how my sister makes hers but it's good so all right when I went to um, Wake Forest to you know, which is where I find most of this stuff because most of the time my stores, you know, wonk, wonk, wonk. But they had these beautiful, beautiful glass bottles. And I'm telling you guys, I don't know what I was thinking. These are, it says lattice square bottle, but this one's not a lattice square bottle. Um, I got two out of four. And that green one is embedded in my brain. And I'm praying that when I go back to that store, that big green one will still be there. I don't know why I didn't get that one. But anywho, I digress. <laughs> but I did get the purple one. Y'all know I got that purple one. <laughs> this is so cute. It says blossoms and blooms. And I forgot what you call these kind of jars, but I just absolutely love them. They were so beautiful and so big. I was like, oh my Lord, look at how gorgeous that bottle is. But that green one, it's embedded in my brain, y'all. And then this one, I got this one because it reminds me of the I Dream a Genie bottle. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I just thought the color, the amber color, I believe that's an amber color. It is just so gorgeous. And it says lattice, um, lattice square bottle they just put something on here just to put something on here this is not even square but it is gorgeous it is so beautiful they had a blue one which was okay a big green one and these two 
and I just picked, picked these two up for some reason and didn't get that green one. And that green one is embedded in my brain. I'm praying that when I go back, they'll still have it. Okay, moving right along. I found these 100% um, polyester microfiber washcloths. I don't know about these, but I don't plan on using them as washcloths. I plan on using them as dish, dish rags to wash dishes. So you get five of them for $1.25. I, I mean, you know, that's really, really hard to walk away from because y'all know I'm all about the bonus, getting more bang for your buck. <laughs> you know, I'm all about that life. So, yeah, I think I've purchased some of these before in the past and they were just okay. But I said I could use some more dish rags and five for $1.25. I just went ahead and got it. And this was the only color they had it in at that particular um, store. But I thought that was a good deal. So I got those because I thought that was a really good buy. I found another really good um, Project Select general purpose um, paint brush for latex paints, interior and excess. And I've showed you guys the other ones that I got, the two black ones. And I think it was by the same color, I mean company. It's 100% polyester and it's a three inch and I just like to have these just in case I want to paint something, you know, in my crafting. This is not painting my house or none. I mean, if I want to paint something, you know, in my crafting, you have nice sized brushes and stuff. So it's really, really soft and it looks like it's high quality. It's definitely not um, a Greenbrier product. So it's made in China. Okay. Okay. Oops. That fell right out. It's a 7.62 centimeter brush so that's what it looks like really really nice and very very soft so I got that and let's see if we can put that bad boy back in there and then I found another one of my Yardley London's limited edition the cinnamon swirl with the cinnamon leaf and clove bud oils this is so cute I will be adding this to these two bars to the um, basket that I told you guys before I was making so I'm making two of them. So I needed two bars of soap. And that's the first store I found it at. I only could find that one. But when I went over to the smaller Dollar Tree, they had plenty. They had a whole shelf of it. So I got that. I also saw a new one on Pretty and Flaws tonight. Lavender and something. I don't know. But you know, Yardley is always coming out with stuff. This just smells like a bar of cinnamon, y'all. I'm telling you, it smells so good. You could probably put this in your car and use it as an air freshener. Oh, you can smell it right through the box. So, okay. Okay, my sweets. The next two items I got was some more of the Brookstones nail clippers and tweezers. My store finally got it. And I'm telling you guys, if you go through that stuff, it's different packages. One, you get a cuticle cutter. Another one, you can get the clippers and, uh, I mean, the scissors and the toenail clippers. Another one, you can get the toenail clippers in a file, etc., etc. So the first ones I bought my brothers were the three ones. But then I went back because I really wanted the toenail clippers for them. And my store, like I said, had all of them. And this one is the matte. I love this, this color black too. Brookstone. These are the toenail clippers and the tweezers. So I went ahead and got them that because that's what I really wanted them to have in the first place was the large toenail clippers. You know, we don't want them cutting up their wives, you know, linens and stuff. So I got two of those to add to the other two that I got them. So they should be set for those. And then they, my store had these Clean Logic Sport High Performance Mesh Sponge. I did look it up a little bit. I found one for $4, one for $2, and it was hard trying to find the high performance ones because they have different ones. But the high performance ones that I was able to find, one site had it for $2 and the other one had it for $4. And it's just a little big, nice, nice fluffy puff. They had it in all the darker colors, like they were made for men. It's like um, the blue, the dark blue, it was dark green, and I think it was a dark silver. So yeah, I'm kind of thinking, looking at the color of this, is this for men? But it doesn't say that. So it doesn't say it's for men, but it looks like something you could probably put in a man's um, gift. 
you know, and get away with it, especially with the darker colors that they had. But I was glad my, st my store finally got these. And the last but not least, you guys, is, is some of those shampoos and conditioners. This I found before I hauled it already, but it was the shampoo that I hauled, and I gave it to my sister, and she liked it. So they finally brought in the conditioner. They also had the purple one, shampoo and conditioner. I show it to you in a previous walkthrough, but I went ahead and got her the bottle of conditioner to go along with her shampoo, because she said she liked it. So I'm going to give her um, this one, okay? And it's a 14 fluid ounces. This is one of the products that uh, Marina was saying that it said it didn't have. It said no parabens, no silicones, no sodium, laurel, sulfate. But when you turn it over to the back and you look in the ingredients, it has water, agua, ceremonian chloride, cedo alcohol, sterile alcohol, cetero alcohol, glycerin, so I'm not seeing it in the in the conditioner. It was on the shampoo that it had it in there, but it's not in the conditioner. So, yeah, that's a good thing. Okay. Well, they had it. They had it on the shampoo, and I might have might maybe it was a misprint or something. But they don't have it in the ingredients um, section of the conditioner. So hopefully she'll like this as much as she liked the shampoo. And now to the PS stuff. And this is, oh man, this was open. Dad, on it. I thought I'd check these things. They have a weird kind of smell to them. This is the PS Clean Beauty. And like I was saying in the walkthrough, it's the saying on the back of here says, my daughter Anna's hair was dry from using traditional hair care products. And I wanted her to have less harsh chemicals in her life. She's the A in AP Duelville. So we went to work <laughs> in the lab developing a new clean line of products, including this ultra hydrating conditioner. We love the product so much. We launched PS Clean Beauty as a new brand. And presto, I promise you'll enjoy it. And it says Fred, AKA Anna's dad. So, um, I don't know what all that, uh, she's the A in the AP Duoville. Y'all know what it means? Drop it down below. Cause you know, I can be a little, mm -hmm. I don't know everything. Okay. <laughs> but this is very interesting and our shelves are full. I mean, full of this stuff, but I did purchase the ultra hydrating conditioner. I was looking for something that was going to say, ultra moisturizing but I would I would think hydrating and moisturizing would be the same so I did get the 12 fluid ounce ultra hydrating conditioner and the ultra hydrating shampoo for curls but the shampoo says for curls but the conditioner doesn't say that so I did get these two okay and I'm just hoping I like them if not ooh conditioner smells really oh the shampoo smells good that's the shampoo this conditioner I'm not mm, it's got a weird kind of smell I'm not really gauging that smell let me see what it looks like when we pour it out is it liquidy is it runny is it nice oh it's nice and thick okay y'all see that it's nice and thick it's coming out slowly that's the kind of conditioner I like okay and then I did get a bottle of the PS clean beauty leave-in conditioner and they all say the same thing sulfate free paraben free dye free phytolate free cruelty free and vegan but this is this is a 12 fluid ounce this is a 12 fluid the shampoo and conditioner are 12 fluid ounces but the leave-in conditioner is a 10 fluid ounce i knew it felt lighter and i was like i hope nobody's been in there but yeah it's actually lighter it's 10 fluid ounces compared to these feel a lot heavier but that's it, you guys. I want to try this. I'll come back later and give you guys a review because I'm getting ready to do my hair and I'm going to use. I'm going to try these new products, even though I have the um, the other one in there that I haven't tried yet. But I want. I'm interested. I'm tweaked, so I want to see how these are going to work, if they're going to work. But we'll we'll know because I'm getting ready to wash my hair. But that is it, you guys. That is the end of my Dollar Tree haul, my Friday Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Remember, guys, 
Be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you all so very, very much. Thank you for all of your love and support you show my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all have a blessed night. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend.